Hi, Divine Feminine. I am here to give you all your messages. So let's see what comes out. Great Spirit, this is for the Divine Feminine. This is for the Divine Feminine. What messages do you have for the Divine Feminine, Great Spirit? Thank you. <laughs> How y'all doing? I hope y'all doing well. Okay, we got a lot of energies that wanted to pop. Oh, yeah, this is way too many. Like, it's way too many. There could definitely be some communication. You walking away from something. Great spirit. What messages do you have for the divine feminine? We have the king of pentacles, uh, divine feminine, that wants to pop out. This is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn energy that is here. Divine feminine, there's some type of opportunity that is here for you, okay? Or some type of, I heard seeking, maybe you're seeking an opportunity, or maybe you're focused or working on some type of opportunity, okay? So it's giving me the energy like you're doing something, um, like you could be working on um, like some type of presentation, and then you have to go and present in front of other people, you know, something like that okay um this could you know like if you have to stand in front of people and you know present some type of speech or um something like you put together a powerpoint or something like that okay um whatever you're focused on um you're really focused on solidity okay with this knight of pentacles okay you're making sure whatever this is you are rooted in it okay but this definitely has something to do with money you could have been working on this for a very long time but you know whatever it is that you have been working on even if it's been you could have been like a mad scientist in the basement working on something for the last 10 years, but now it's time for you to present, to receive some type of opportunity is what I'm picking up on, okay? Um, you could be the one watching the opportunity, so you could be, it's giving me like you're on the board or you're on the panel, okay, of people who are speaking or um, the people who are judging, so you could be going to like a some some type of contest and you're maybe, maybe you're a judge, okay? There could be some money or a prize involved. It's giving that energy um divine feminine is what i'm picking up on okay i'm hearing snowball snowball effect okay so whatever you're doing is going to snowball okay so from this point of things were going a little bit slow once you present this it's going to like everything is just going to start moving very very rapidly very very quickly like an avalanche is what i'm hearing okay you can have an avalanche of money coming towards your way or avalanche of opportunities coming your way or either you could be the one giving out these opportunities look divine feminine here you are you can't make this shit up you getting your money whatever this is is definitely involving money look at you you're self-made you did this you did this divine feminine here you are looking good smelling good here okay it's like you're doing this for your family your family motivates and inspires you to to be this person that you are here okay you're very confident, high self-esteem. You're a professional. Even It doesn't matter what you do. You're still very professional at what you do or you keep it professional is what I'm picking up on, okay? So um, we'll use me as an example. So this I, as a creative artist, as a musician, um, as a dancer, as someone who is in the entertainment industry, um, I definitely keep it professional. Um, of course, the, the industry can definitely be... Uh, a lot of different types of people um and a lot of people are more i'll say shall we say loose in the way of you know um i'm not going to necessarily get drunk and i'm not about to go to the studio and get drunk you get what i'm saying um i keep a professional even if everybody else is there getting drunk, it's like, nah, I'm good. You know, that type of thing. So who, and that's using me as an example, but whatever field you're in, what I'm saying is you keep it professional, um, even if it's still a more, you know, fun environment to be in. You know, it's like, okay, you know, but you may, after, you know, you do what you do, then you may go out with some people, with some friends or whatever, and then you may have a drink or you maybe just wait till you get home, something like that, you know? And I don't really drink like that. That's why it was best to use me as an example. You know, um, if I do, you know, I'll drink here or there, you know, but it's usually a, a, a good glass of wine, you know, a good cab, you know, okay. Um, but yeah, I really don't do like the drinky drinks, you know. 
But yeah, let's see what else is here for Divine Feminine. Because you looking good. You smelling good. Okay, you really in your feminine energy. You blocking folks off. Okay, um, you blocking people out. Okay, if people aren't focused on their success, you don't want nothing to do with them. You don't want to have no conversations. No, we can't be friends. No, you can't do this. No, I'm not doing this for you. No. Exactly like I said. No. You telling people, no. Something is coming to an end. There was some type of very painful ending, but I feel like you caused this ending is what I'm picking up on. Okay, we have this king of swords here. Then we have this five of wands. You could have cut this king of swords off or you're just in this king of swords energy. Guess what? Divine feminine. We got two kings. <laughs> Y'all player players from the Himalaya. We got two kings out here. Male energy. Here you are. And then we got this ten of swords. Divine feminine, what it looks like to me, you're moving on to success. So possibly a new person, if this is a relationship for you, maybe you got into a relationship. You're you you this so it kind of like told me where you are now, and it's telling me what you left behind uh after it told me where you currently are. You get what I'm saying? So this is you right now, divine feminine. But I feel like this has come after this. There was an ending. I feel like you put it into a relationship that just was not healthy for you, okay? This definitely could be an air sign, okay? A Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra that you left behind. This this King of Swords could have stabbed you in the back. They could have hurt you really, really deeply is what I'm picking up on. And so you said, you know what? I'm going to get to the bag. So this King of Pentacles could be you in your bag. You get into this money is what I'm picking up on. Or this could be a new relationship that you're in. Somebody, um, there could have been a lot of arguments or a lot of harsh words. This person wasn't showing you any feeling. This is a sword. They weren't showing you their feelings. They weren't, uh, uh, they were not emotionally available. They weren't emotionally available to you. And it was, I'm hearing dry. It was really a cut and dry relationship. It's kind of like, uh, oh, you know what else? Look, you could be an earth sign and you could have been with an air sign. So you could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, and you were dealing with a, a, a Gemini, a Aquarius, or a Libra. It's like you found someone that's more your match, is what I'm picking up on. Also, you could have maybe you're a Taurus and you're with a Capricorn, or you're a Capricorn and you're with a Virgo, something like that here. Yeah, because all y'all did was fight. Yeah, you was fighting this person a lot. And it's like, you didn't have time for that. You was like, I'm not about to deal with that. So you went within, you looked within yourself, you looked at what was going on, and you had to put an end to this. And that's the truth. Okay? What else is here for the divine feminine? So that part isn't going to be for everybody, okay? Everyone isn't putting an end to a relationship. But you are, I do feel like you are in this boss energy, okay? Is what I'm picking up for you, Divine Feminine. Great Spirit, what else is here for the Divine Feminine? That's way too many. Divine Feminine, what's here for the Divine Feminine? I need them to come out one by one, please. Two is too many for me. What else is here for Divine Feminine? Any more messages for a divine feminine? I'm going to take this one. Look, you causing towers. This caused a tower moment for them. But you have some type of good news on its way to you. Okay? Yeah, spirit. I feel like spirit had to step in and maybe even show you something. I'm hearing text messages. So you could have seen a text message. You could have seen something on somebody's phone or something like that. And it kind of was like, what? I'm not the only option. Oh, you, you messing with people or it could have been something. I don't know what this is. Okay. What is this for the divine feminine? Great spirit. This is for the divine feminine. Divine feminine. What else is here for the divine feminine? Great spirit. Divine feminine. Great spirit. What else is here for divine feminine? Y'all, these cards is not going to get to me. 
It's like they want to just fall out when I only want one to come out. Yeah, this could have been a relationship that was really burdening you. A marriage. Some of you guys are putting down a marriage. There was a marriage that was very, very heavy. You were carrying all the weight in the marriage. Oh, wow. These fell on the table. Yeah, you're ending something. Could have been with a Scorpio, a Taurus. Okay, but look, you're moving forward. I'm telling you, here's your will of fortune. That's the truth. Yeah, somebody is stressed out, Divine Feminine. Whoever this is that you left. Okay, yeah. But you over here shining. You over here looking good. You over here winning. You moving forward. You could be purchasing a new car. Look. I'm telling you. You're, whatever this is, you're winning. Yeah, some of you guys are getting into a new relationship, possibly, or a new partnership. Uh, this could be a new work offer, a new work partnership that is coming up here as well. Yeah, with this Queen of Wands, you're definitely a creative here. So definitely some new type of new creative or work project, some type of leadership role. Okay, so let's say if you're presenting, excuse me, let's say you're presenting uh professionally a powerpoint or something like that um for, for work i definitely feel like you're getting um some type of recognition or some type of leadership role or something you're you're working divine feminine you out here working you out here making connects you out here um uh i heard relaxing um but it's it's like i feel like you could be doing this in a very relaxed way you don't look stressed you, you're not you know you're not stressed you're not like running ragged ready to pull your hair out nothing like that by the way y'all like my new style i had to go get it done because your girl was looking a little woo, you know so i had to tell her i was like put it back and it's grown so long because when i started in january it's literally been five months okay when i started in january january 1 this came to about right here y'all so it's definitely longer. I put up a video about um, showing y'all my hair. It's like a little minute video. So y'all go check that out as well. But um, anyways, I feel like whatever this is um, that you're doing, it's like you out here looking good, okay? Um, and it's like, I feel like people are noticing you. People are recognizing um, the work that you're putting in. And I feel like there's a lot of people that really want to work with you. And there's a lot of people that want to partner with you. I feel like this is an overall good time that you are stepping into uh divine feminine okay i feel like this summer okay uh you're definitely gonna be winning all summer okay um is what i am picking up on i just did the ring for y'all divine feminine uh saying that this is like your it's your winning season or get used to winning or something like that and that energy is slightly coming out here again it's like this will has turned but it required you to go through a major transformation it required you to go through some type of divorce or leave some type of relationship behind it caused you to say uh, 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 say that you're, that you're not going to keep putting up with being stabbed in the back. You, you knew that you were worth more than dealing with some type of relationship where the motherfucker can't even communicate their feelings with you. Let alone take you on dates or whatever this is for y'all. Y'all already know I'm single as a Pringle. So, yeah. So, whoever this is for, Divine Feminine, you said, let me get the fuck up out of there. And that's what you did. You left this person cold turkey or you left this person behind. It's like you wasn't playing no games. And I feel like this person is very harsh with their words. It's kind of like this person's like, this person could have been abusive with their words. They could have been physically abusive is what I'm picking up on. Manipulative, you know, narc, something like that. I don't even say that word like that, you know, but it's just, yeah, this person is no bueno for you. And it caused a lot of towers in your life. I see somebody is crying or somebody was crying because it's hurt. You've been hurt. The Ten of Swords. You wasn't expecting this pain, especially not from this person. But it's almost like you knew all along is what I'm picking up. 1414. It's the um the Sagittarius energy. It's giving me um temperance. But you you're being patient with yourself, or you need to be patient with yourself. Somebody, this person was cheating on you. This person was cheating on you. That's what I'm picking up on. This person was cheating on you. And they got caught. For some people. If you know it was for that's part for you, then this you already know. And Spirit says you don't you, you don't need to deal with that. 
baby look that's why i'm that's why i'm single as a pringle until the until the right one you know uh, enters and appears in my life because yeah we're not doing that <laughs> we ain't doing none of that you know i may go out and have fun you know i may talk to people you know um Something like that, you know, or, you know, um, let somebody spend a little something on me, but ain't no relationships, ain't no, ain't no, you ain't getting in between this, ain't nothing, ain't none of that going on, not over here, player, player, <laughs> no, 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 that's how you do it, you gotta know the game, ladies, divine feminists, I didn't know the game, but I was a student. I learned from many, from one, my own experiences and just realizing my own worth and what I want. Two, just shoot, watching YouTube University and, you know, the girl talks and just a whole bunch of different things. People off of Instagram, just learning different things that align with my values. It has allowed me to really get to a point to where it's like, yeah, you know, I know who I am, baby. Whoever gets this, all of this, baby. They are one lucky, blessed individual. Let me tell you that. That's facts. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm going to pull a few more and then I'm going to let y'all go, Divine Feminine. I hope this message is resonating for you, okay? If it is, please give this video a thumbs up, all right? It will help the channel to grow. Great Spirit, what additional messages do you have for the Divine Feminine? I don't know. Something is telling me like I shouldn't be doing this read or like I sh I should I like I don't even know if I'm gonna post this. I know we're 16 minutes in. And it's like, am I supposed to be posting this? It just the energy feels very, very different. Divine feminines, like there could be a change or a shift in the air or something. So I'm not sure. But look, we have community here. Okay. Yeah, you could be moving into a new community. We have child here, so this is giving me new beginnings. It could be you and your child. You guys are moving to a different community or you guys are connecting with a new community of people or something about this community. Tell me more, Great Spirit. Tell me more. These could be the people that you have to present in front of as well. Great Spirit, tell me more. Tell me more. Yep, you're receiving a message. I'm telling you, some of y'all about to get up and move. You're receiving some type of message from someone in your community. I'm telling you, this is you presenting or this is you out here networking with different people and so forth. And you receiving a message. I'm also getting that your ancestors, your ancestors here are sending you some type of message or they're sending you messages signs and so forth so pay attention as well it's in regards to some type of change they want you to go in a new direction is what i heard so your ancestors your god spirit they want you to go in a new direction they want you to do something new because whoever you're around is false but we knew that though yeah eight nine yeah they're moving you away from this false person maybe you need some type of assistance or help to be able to move you're going to receive a message from somebody within a community maybe you reached out for some type of help you know like to a community center or food bank or you know those type of places or whatever the case may be um i heard shelter as well so you're going to be receiving a notification um you, everything is going to happen that you need to be able to move away from the situation for those that have not moved away from the situation yet and they're hearing this and they're like oh shit this is my confirmation i need to go but how am i going to do this and you start doing what you need to do you're going to receive a message god's going to send you the necessary signs let me get that y'all okay so we have a message in regards to some type of connection. Okay, so you could have met, so you could be out here networking with people. <clears throat> Excuse me. You could be out here networking with people or it could be somebody that sees you out of the crowd or something like that and or while you're at work or something. And this person wants to send you a message. They want this. It's a message in regards to a relationship or some type of partnership here. Yeah. Somebody wants you to be a part of their family. Yeah. This is family. Somebody wants you to be part of their family or join their family or something like that. OK. Number thirty nine, number seven and number four. Could be significant. Yeah, somebody could be in bad health. Also, I'm hearing you could be a nurse. You could be a living nurse, a travel nurse, or maybe you make house calls. 
Yeah, somebody, a mature, older person could have some type of bad health going on as well. Yeah, false person. <gasps> this person that you left, they're going to try to contact you. This relationship that you were in, it's not good. It's, a, it's an unhealthy relationship. You're in a relationship with someone and the relationship is unhealthy. They're false. They're not your person. I'm sorry to be the one to tell you, but they're not your person. This relationship is no bueno. It's not good. It's not healthy. That's for someone. If it's for you, you already know. 2022 is on the phone. But I also do see a, 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 a notification coming in in regards to some type of partnership, some type of help, or whatever this is that you're expecting a message about, you're going to receive the message, um, some type of message in regards to it. But I also see somebody that has hurt you or somebody false or something like that they're going to be reaching out to you and spirit is saying no don't answer this call don't um don't respond to them someone in your community or someone around you is false it's it's shifting from it being like this relationship to also somebody in your community is false it could be a group of people as well or multiple two people or multiple people Right, I'm about to get one more and then I'm going to end it. Let me just pull one. You're this official person though, Divine Feminine. Yeah, and you definitely get this uh, new beginning here. This could be a child's father as well is what I'm picking up on here, okay? But uh, Divine Feminine, it's like you're an official person. So you could have been in the military as well. You could have an official person reaching out to you, okay? Is what I'm picking up on. All right, let's see what else comes out, Divine Feminine, to close this message. This is for Divine Feminine. Also, I'm getting somebody may appear in like an authoritative energy. They could be military. They could be police, court system, something. This person is false, too. This person is no bueno. They may try to scare you or something like that. I'm picking up on some, some type of energy. This person is false too. But they're using their thoughts. This could be a boss or whoever trying to threaten you or try to make you feel. Somebody's trying to instill fear in you so you don't walk away and keep you there. So that could be a phone call. Yeah, you need to cleanse yourself. I'm telling you. Yeah, I need to post this read because this is for somebody. I'm going to take this too. I don't know what this is. But look, but it's sticking out. It wants to be seen. Yeah, somebody just wants to be seen and making an ass. So they're they're gonna they're not going down without a fight. But you're not you're not even gonna go there. You don't need to argue with this person. You don't get need to give this person no no attention, no nothing. You need to simply walk away. Shut the up. Don't say nothing. Even if you packing your stuff and they all up on you doing all of that, cause baby, I didn't been there. You shut up. You finish packing your stuff and you walk the out you ain't gotta you ain't gotta do not engage whoever this message is for you need to walk away and then you need to take a spiritual bath and cleanse your energy you need to cut them cords baby look because you won't because they mad that you about to be living your life or that you live in your life Maybe you, I feel like you're more successful than this person. I feel like there's a jealous partner that's here. This person is not supportive of you. Even if they're in an official position and they got money and all that, they're jealous of you, baby. I don't, this message, divine feminine, I don't know what's going on or who's tapping in. There could be a whole lot of new energies is watching or something. But I'm telling you, the whole message, what we were saying, spirit says walk away. I don't care if this person wear a suit and tie. I don't care how good they look, how, 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 um, how good they smell, how good they feeding you and how good they sex is. None of that. You bet. You ain't got to listen to me. It's what's coming out. But you do you. Spirit says you on your way to living your best life. You are living your best life. But this, whatever this energy, it has been in your way. Don't let it stop you from getting the bag. And being in that king of pentacles and nine of pentacles energy we saw. Or keep you from your king of pentacle man. Divine feminine. It, it, sometimes people can get out of one relationship. 
And before they know it, it's like, boom. It's like your real right person is here. But definitely you need to take a spiritual bath. I'm going to put that out on the board as well. Ah, ah. All right, Grace Spirit, any more messages for Divine Feminine? I'm going to take this one. Spirit is telling you to meditate. It'll help you to breathe. It'll help you to calm down, help you relax. I feel like somebody's frazzled. Somebody says you're the one for me. So somebody, ooh. Y'all running into a brand new emperor. So there's multiple messages here. Y'all do realize that. This other situation took over the read overall. But there is, as we saw even earlier with the tarot, there is a relationship that is here. Even with these, I told y'all, you're receiving a message in regards to a courtship. In regards to a new relationship here. This is an actual emperor. Your man is here. Your divine counterpart is here. And they say, you're the one for me, baby. It's like continue to meditate and, and bring this person in. Yeah, I just saw travel here too. I, I didn't see this one. I pulled. I saw this one travel. And then I saw this one was in front of it. So there could be some type of divine intra, uh, intervention for you to get up out of there to help you travel or to get to the location you need to get to. Some of you guys, it's a divine intervention to actually travel and move and actually move. Okay, um, this emperor is coming to you by way of divine intervention spirit says you deserve to have this emperor that is in your life that is coming into your life and spirit says this person is saying that you're the one for me this is the right person okay whoever this other person is that you guys are leaving don't let this person fool you to think that they're an emperor because of their status or because they're saying baby you for me you know ain't nobody else go do bitch you should have thought about that yeah but anyways, that's your message, Divine Feminine. I know it was kind of everywhere, but there's different messages for different people. This is a general. If you guys are interested in a personal, you guys can book your one-on-ones down below in the description bar. And Divine Feminines, I will see y'all in the next one. I am Nayla Latrice. Peace.